What's up lads, Josh here and welcome back to another squad builder. This one is actually going to be a La Liga team and uh, it is actually a pretty awesome one and I'm obviously going to talk a little bit about it in a second. But if you guys are looking for any cheap, um, cheap Microsoft points, cheap... Uh, PSN cards or cheap PC games check the link in the description for a G2A and uh, you can use the link in there But let's get straight into this video and let's of course get straight into this squad with our goalkeeper for the Liga, La Liga team We are going to go with Bravo and he has got some absolutely incredible stats on him 85 diving 82 handling 85 kicking 86 reflex 58 speed and 78 positioning played six games with him 4,200 clients and he is a pretty decent goalkeeper to be honest I think uh, well I've only used him um, in this league at the moment so I'm not sure how the others do but he is a really good goalkeeper. The next centre-back, or the first centre-back, sorry, we're going to talk about is going to be Miranda. And he has got 76 pace, 84 defending, and 79 physical. He does, of course, have an inform, but I don't really want to be spending that much on a card at the moment um, that, you know, could probably just be exactly the same as his normal. Um, but he's six foot one tall. I had the anchor trait on him. Cost me five thousand coins. Quite a lot to pay for a centre back that's only eighty three rated. But um, you know, it's obviously early days. And if you're watching this, you know, I don't know, a month into the game, then obviously this team will be a lot cheaper than you can currently see right now. Um, but seventy six pace on Varane is our next centre back. Uh, eighty three defending and seventy six physical. Four thousand coins once again. Quite another expensive player, but a really good centre back pairing here with Varane and. Um, Miranda, a uh, six foot three tall as well, and he's got a great bit of pace on him. Left back, we're actually going to go with a silver, uh, because I don't want to spend twenty thousand coins on Marcelo or Jordi Alba. And look at this guy, eighty nine pace, seventy defending, and seventy two physical. Look how much he costs. 3,000 coins. What an absolute gem he seems to be. I can imagine a lot of people will be using him um, in that left back position um, until, you know, Marcelo and uh, Jordi Alba are a little bit cheaper. On to the right back. Now we're going to go with the Marcos. 90 pace, 75 passing, 75 dribbling, 72 defending, and 82 physical. Of course, I got him in a pack, so I'm not sure how much he costs. I think it's about three to 4,000 coins. Uh, five, five, uh, five foot 11 tall. 3-star scummers and 3-star weak foot. Going on to the central defensive mid, we are going to go with Busquets now. I'm really not a big fan of this formation after trying it out, but, you know, it was good for this uh, team, but, um, I don't know, you know, you really need, like, a compact midfield, otherwise you just get absolutely obliterated down the mid, and, you know, it's really easy to uh, to attack on this game, but defending is really incredibly hard, and, you know, unfortunately that is what I noticed. Um, but Busquets, 56 pace, 59 shooting, 78 passing, 75 dribbling, 81 defending, and 80 physical. Um, I couldn't really decide whether I wanted him or this guy. Look at his uh, defensive stats: 80 defending and 87 physical. But in game, he, has, he just, you know, he's, his pace is absolutely non-existent, and he is apparently faster than Busquets. To me, it just doesn't seem like it in game. Um, but on the left wing for uh, this La Liga team, we are going to go with Anton, Antoine Griezmann. 85 pace, 77 shots, 76 passing, 83 dribbling, and 68 physical. 5,500 coins he cost me. Unfortunately, no goal scored, but got me one assist, and he has caused got four. Uh, four star skill moves and he is a really nice player to use on this game uh, going on to the right mid position which we've actually got another right winger which he still gets full chemistry so it's not too worrying uh, we get Carlos Vea here uh, 86 pace, 77 shots, 74 passing, 85 dribbling, and uh, looks like a pretty awesome guy. Not sure how much he is because, of course, I've got him from a pack. I think he's about two to 3,000 coins. Uh, one goal scored in six games, 5 foot 10 tall, and, of course, four-star skill moves. Uh, going on to that central attacking mid-roll, I think this is another player that we've packed, and it is going to be Isco. 76 pace, 76 shot, 82 passing, 86 dribbling, and 62 physical. Unfortunately, he's not, you know, the strengthiest player, so I kind of like to have a little bit of strength on my um, central attacking mids, so, you know, they don't just get pushed off the ball um, but 62 physical it, you know it, like I said unfortunately no goal scored for him three assists in six games isn't too bad but I was expecting a goal or two from him um, and then getting straight into these strikers the first one of course we are going to try out Karim Benzema 84 pace 84 shots 75 passing 82 dribbling and 74 physical a really incredible player to use as you can see nine goals in six games a really really fun player to use he's still quite expensive but I can guarantee he'll be going down to about 20k uh, in a month or so um, and definitely try him out if you can afford him he is incredibly um, good and he's just great fun player to use uh, six foot tall four star scummers and four star weak foot of course as well um, and now the final striker which I wasn't really sure on which about you know he started really well but then just sort of died down it is Mandzukic 75 pace 82 shot uh, 61 passing 75 dribbling 87 physical a really great um, presence in the air and uh, you know just great in as aerial headers and stuff 
Uh, 3,300 coins, two goals in five games, six foot two tall, and I couldn't really, you know, I was torn between these two players, Serchi and Mandzukic. I really couldn't decide um, who I liked better. I think I kind of liked Serchi for that little bit more pace, but Mandzukic is good for the hold-up play. But anyway, this has been my La Liga team. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. I'm going to leave some goals at the end with some music because I don't really have enough time to commentate over it today, unfortunately. But hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Let me know, um, you know, if you are going to build a La Liga team or anything, and and uh, apart from that, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy it, leave a like, rate, and subscribe to our channel if you're new on here. Follow me on Twitter at JoshGamo94. And apart from that, guys, I'll see you guys soon. Peace.